Hello everyone, welcome to Tony Talks. You could die the last one for a new breathing in Conti, Oshele, Ni, Kore, Ness, Abib, Kinope. Koro, you be touch at in shame, investigation of one, Okomo, bad, you know. Okomo, I'd like to have breathe one shortly. Nick, ba, in Conti, Oshele, I think got a little expert, you know. So, I just had your listing say, you could cut your own. Thank you for watching. Till I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you all. Bye. Um, there was um, a sitting, we, all allow, we are all aware of it, uh, regarding Mobad, and so it was attended by Mobad's dad, Mobad's mom, Nia, Mobad's wife, Mobad's mother-in-law, Mobad's stepmother, and some people. However, you know, there are going to be witnesses and um, testimony so far. Um, it has nothing to do with the cause of death, but comprehensively regarding Mobad. Mobad's dad is saying some things that my heart talked. Yeah, Mobad's dad had some terrible things to say. Had some terrible things to say about. Mobat's wife as per testimony in the court of law. Okay, look, the whole thing is taking some kind of, you know, family grievances is being aired in the court of law. It has nothing to do with the death of Mobat, but probably may lead to them thinking could that be the reason why the sudden death okay like this dad said said i bet he has to he must have evidences if not it's inadmissible but anyway the dad said mobat's wife would put sleeping pill in mobat's noodles okay hold on to that noodles aspect then another one he said was she does that then she will go into the other room to have more or less like extramarital affairs with the Sydney. Now, Mice, who is Mobat's friend, said Umi has extra, you know, you know, in the court of law, I must let you know, if you have same sex relationship, it is not taken as adultery. Umi has some kind of um, relationship with Mobat's um, manager we shame but it's that one the same sex then also has relationship with someone else you know a sydney now when boba's dad said that in the court of law i'm kind of confused does he have evidences right now does he have evidences okay that's true for Mobad's dad. Then another thing he said is regarding the property, Mobad's property being held on by Wumi's mom. We've heard that in the beginning, in fact. And um, all these things definitely will lead to DNA. Ask me why. Because Mobat's father is the father of Mobat. And for him to say that, and if there are evidences, he's been able to prove it, because you, you have to prove it. The courts, I always tell you people, has nothing to do with sentiments and emotions. It is about facts. And if he's able to produce that in the court of law, definitely there will be a DNA. Definitely they will have to carry out a DNA for Liam. Okay? And you know when they said one of them this me also gave his own is a witness also gave his own testimony in the court of law magistrate court of law Ikorodu yesterday stating the moment the nurse gave Mobad injection he started throwing up he threw up the noodles he ate and I'm thinking could that be noodles was there any sleeping tablet in the noodles? Anyway, the autopsy is going to give us 
all this as a matter of fact because everything that needs to be proven in the court of law must be proven beyond reasonable doubt it doesn't have anything to do with our sentiments it doesn't have anything to do with our emotions it is facts only that will so and only this the facts only proven beyond reasonable doubt and the advice given by the experts after Mubat's result comes up. That result determines where we are going. Everything is now taking turns and now evolving and revolving around Mubat's immediate family as opposed to Sam, Larry and um, and um, Nairamali, you know, when Moba died, the point here from Mumi was that they killed Moba. Now they can have their trophy, but you see, everything is now coming. So we are now waiting for the autopsy result, which will give us a comprehensive understanding of what took the life of Moba. But I want to assure you people one thing. Many of you are dead, angry. Why is the autopsy taking this long? Anyway, if you were on our talk show live stream yesterday on your Yekudi TV, you'll be able to understand that it takes this long, to be very sincere. The autopsy takes this long. It is not because Nigerians or in Nigeria, they do not do it for everybody after death. You understand? In abroad, they do it. It takes long, it takes time. So even if General Hospital are the ones doing it, most of these things probably is taken mm -hmm. abroad to get a very deep understanding and a fast. Because we need a reliable result. We don't need results. So it will take time. It will take time. So don't we shouldn't be in a hurry. Thank God the trial has started and I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm not happy about, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised with what I am hearing for a start. And then Mice, the guy that had interview with the very dark man, he had a lot to say. You understand? I'm not one of those that are going to say, oh, I don't believe him. What's he talking about? No, I'm not one of those because I'm one of those that don't think about, I mean, put emotions into consideration and sentiment when there's a crime, if it is a crime, you know, there is one, everyone is a suspect, the only person that is not a suspect, in the, the only person that is not a suspect in that family is Liam, more so, I must let you all know that, I bet we are going to be very shocked with the outcome of this whole thing. Another thing I just want to say is that, you know, Mobad is intestate. This court is going to use its discretion now to divide his will. That's his property, as in the beneficiary and stuff like that. So, for these testimonies being given in the court of law, because it brings a question mark on women, they may end up, like I said, do a DNA, then be able to know, you know, that Liam is correctly the beneficiary to inherit Mubat's property and everything is left behind. So it's only normal. When I say you are interested, it's when you do not write. When you don't write a will behind, you know, because he had, it was a sudden death. It's really sad. Mubat's case, I don't want to predict anything, but I must let you people know that. Um, and we don't, we have to be open minded to see what is really happening. In the court of law, they are spilling a lot and they are going to still invite more people to say a lot of things that happened during Mubat's life. It's going to shock many of you, the outcome of this.
trial is going to shock many of you. Just be open-minded to be able to, you know, hear some things and you'll be all be surprised. Mm. May Mobad so continue to rest in peace. And we should, you know, I'm just looking at many people. The way people run emotions and um, sentiments when it comes to cases that are like this. Look, this case is still allegation. Nobody is culpable yet until after the judge, I mean, they are able to comprehensively prove beyond reasonable doubt that, that yes, you are culpable, you killed me back, la la la, blah blah blah. For now, everybody has this suspect, and that's all. And in the regards of the father giving those testimony, he has to say the truth. If he is saying the truth, he must tender evidence. All these things that, oh, the son told him this, he did, that when um, used to drug him, he has to produce evidence to the court of law, not court.